Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a Sunday reset marathon. So I've taken a bunch of clips and footage from some of my other Sunday reset videos and made them into one. So I have some recipes, some organization, some laundry hacks, decorating, a little bit of everything. I also pulled a bunch of footage from my laundry routine from the old house. It has a ton of tips, tricks, and DIYs. I thought you guys could benefit from that and take some motivation from that routine as well. But everything else is from my Sunday reset routines. These are actually all clips from the house that we just moved out of. So if you're new, you get to see a little bit of our older house. So I hope you enjoy it and let's get started. Welcome back to another Sunday Reset. This one might be a little bit different because we have my parents coming into town and we are so excited. They're driving in from North Carolina. So as far as dinner plans, I'm still trying to finalize all of that since we do have plans on going out and about a lot this week. So I just picked up the necessities from the grocery store and I'm gonna give you guys a quick overview of everything that I picked up from there. Later, I'm gonna be putting some new bedding on the kids' bed. I have to refresh the guest bedroom, washing a bunch of produce and and putting that away and as always like I do every Sunday I'm gonna be sanitizing the kids backpacks and devices for the upcoming week so let's get started If you want to keep your food in a glass container like this, just cut out the instructions and you can tape it on the back of your glass container. I just usually tuck it away in the back. And this is mainly for if I want to make more or less than I usually would make, I have my instructions right there. We can have the world. See us coming like left, right, left, right, all. Oh. Are you the same? Are you the same? Are you the same? Are you the same? Can we get comfortable? I don't really like going out. It makes me uncomfortable. Comfortable, yeah. We could be chilling on the sofa or cooking in the kitchen like left, right, left, right, oh, oh. Are you the same? Are you the same? Are you the same? Are you the same? Touching my body, go. When you're touching my body, go. I want it. Yeah, I need it. I'm on it. I'm on it. Are you the same? Are you the same? Different planets Watch your aura pass me by Losing balance What if we run out of time And second chances Empty handed You like the fast life You like the drive Get down dirty I got the bad guy You want some love Be like when you feel like Calling a midnight I, mm, You got the best of me You got me losing sleep
So the kids needed new comforters for their beds. So I went to Target and picked up these by Room Essentials. I threw them in the washing machine on a quick 25 minute wash and they're so soft and cozy they're pretty lightweight didn't want to spend too much money on their bedding just because we are going to be moving this summer and i'm not sure if they're going to be getting separate rooms or bigger beds so i wanted to spend as little money as possible but i actually love how it turned out I got these accent decorative pillows from Home Goods, and I just put some of their already black and white little stuffed animals on their bed, and it's so cute. gonna be making some couscous for dinner tonight you guys are gonna want to write this one down I got this idea off of TikTok. I will have her link down below in case you guys want to check it out for yourself we're gonna start off by boiling two cups of broth of your choice and then once that boils you're gonna add two cups of couscous take it off the heat stir it and set it to the side in another pan you're going to add two tablespoons of oil then add one medium onion two tablespoons of garlic italian seasoning curry powder one bouillon cube turmeric powder smoked paprika and then you're going to mix in your shredded chicken or meat of your choice Next, you're gonna add in one handful of kale, some bell peppers, give it a good stir, add in your couscous, cover it for about two minutes, and then you're done. A couple times a month, I do like to dedicate a full day to just doing laundry. I usually like to do a load a day so it's not piling up, but now that it's the holiday season, we're going out to eat, we're going shopping, we have family visiting, it's just a lot going on and just gonna be focusing on laundry today and nothing else. I also have some pretty cool hacks to share with you guys that are super inexpensive when doing your laundry, so let's get started. Don't have to do anything. The scent of skin is strong enough. Huddle a little bit closer, baby. When I'm doing a full day's worth of laundry, the first thing I have to do is take the sheets off of my bed and the kids' bed or whatever bedding that I'm doing. I have to take it off and I have to throw it on the floor. I don't have many like backup sheets, so I'm not gonna resort to like putting other sheets on my bed. This will force me to get things done. So if you struggle with cleaning your sheets weekly, 
I would definitely suggest just taking them off when you think about it so that'll force you to go ahead and throw them in the washing machine. Stop. This is my favorite. Before heading downstairs, I'm gonna go ahead and separate the kids' clothes. Believe it or not, this is actually not that bad. They share the same basket, so it's not that bad today, but I'm still gonna separate it since I am doing laundry today, and I'm just gonna take the largest of the piles. If you're wondering, I separate all of our clothes into darks, whites and colors and that's how I wash them and today I'm just going to take the largest pile out of the kids clothes and add it to our clothes just to make one big load and the largest pile out of these clothes are the colors so that's what we're going to be washing today Let's get Since the whites pile is so small, I'm gonna go ahead and add that to the colors. It's only a few pairs of socks and a t-shirt. I'm gonna hold off on the darks for now until maybe next week when the load is a little bit larger. So if I know I have things that I need to wash and I need to get it done, I will put everything into piles in my house on the floor. That kind of forces me to stay focused and get things done, wash these loads. They're already separated, so it's already ready to go. All I need to do is take one pile and throw it in. So here's what I'm currently using in my washing machine right now and a lot of these are really really good you guys I love to use my Clorox um, I have some cleaning vinegar back there my Tide I love Tide these Downy Defy Damage beads are the bomb um, I have my scent beads and some baking soda since we air dry a lot of our clothes, I like to start with clothes first on a big laundry day like this just because I can get all of that out the way so that everything else throughout the day that I'm washing, I can just throw directly in the dryer. I'm going to get a scoop of baking soda, throw that into the washing machine drum. I'm going to add some vinegar in there in the place of my fabric softener. If you have boys that play outside a lot, then you definitely need to try this. It's supposed to deodorize and take out any weird smells in your clothes. And I'm going to throw in two Tide Pods just because it is a larger load. And then after that, I'm going to set my washing machine to heavy duty. I'm going to change the temperature to cold, spin cycle on high, and soil level on heavy. I'm buzzing, let's drink up your death look like big fun Come on, let's get it on Like that I'm fin gay song I'm something you love it Come on, give me something I know that you want it Come on, give me something The night is young and so are we So maybe you should leave with me so I did a couple of loads the day before and that's been sitting in the dryer and then another load in my little laundry basket in my room. So I need to get both of those things put away before my washing machine is finished. And that's just something that I kind of found myself doing when I have a lot of back-to-back -back loads. I kind of just gave it a name and I just call it race the machine or race the washer just so I can stay on top of things and not have a bunch of things at the end of the day to fold and put away. This is also great to do if you have a full day dedicated to just doing laundry challenge yourself and try this out i'm telling you it works it'll keep you on your toes it'll keep you moving and at the end of the day you'll be glad you did because you don't have a bunch of clean clothes just hanging around your house waiting for the next day to come if you try this out and it works for you and you are happy with the results let me know somewhere in social media instagram facebook youtube dm me leave me a comment just letting me know how it went So I still have some time left before our first load of laundry is done in the washing machine. So I'm going to deodorize my mattress protector on our bed and I'm going to take a couple of scoops of baking soda and some essential oils, maybe about 20 drops, stir it up and I'm going to sprinkle it on my mattress. Well, 
Like I said, I'm using the mixture on my mattress protector this time and not my mattress. I've done my mattress in the past and that works, but I wanted to try it on this and it was a little difficult to vacuum up just because it kept moving, but it really works. It deodorizes everything and it makes your room smell so good. And I leave this on all day until I put my sheets on. I just vacuum it up and then I'm done. Now that our first load of the day is done, remember we did colors first, we're going to put those in the dryer and I'm going to show you guys some things that I like to use in the dryer. I have these little dryer balls, some essential oils, these dryer sheets that we got from Costco a long time ago. I just have so many left over. And then I have this ball of aluminum foil, which is a really cool hack to use if you don't have any dryer sheets and you need something. Throw this in the dryer and you can use it over and over again. So for my colors, I'm going to be using these and I actually have two more of these. I have no idea where they are, but we're going to work with what we have. I'm going to drop a few drops of essential oils on each one and trust me, this works. It smells so good once everything's done. I'm going to throw those into the dryer and then go through all of the clothes, setting aside everything that needs to be air dried. But she's wondering if it's gonna feel like this forever. Wondering if it's gonna feel like this whenever she leaves her safe space. She leaves her safe space. Wondering if it is forever. Or is this some place that will make her feel better? Make her feel better. I'm gonna take my drying rack out for the sake of this video so you guys can see what it actually looks like I got this off Amazon it was a little pricey it was like $45 but it's super heavy duty it folds up really small and it holds a bunch of clothes but yeah we have two of these one upstairs and one down here and I usually just keep this in the closet in my laundry room and that's where I hang up all of our clothes Towels are the next thing going into the washing machine today. The majority of our towels are white, just so we know when they get dingy or when we need to get rid of them. We can also bleach them, so I like to stick to white towels. Um, I'm throwing in my scent beads, two Tide Pods, some baking soda, and then some vinegar into the fabric softener section in my washing machine, and this helps with keeping all of my towels nice and fluffy and soft. As far as pre-treating stains, the OxyClean Max Force works really well. One's a foam and one's a spray. Not sure why I have two. If you have trouble remembering to pre-treat something, I would definitely spray it before you throw it into your dirty clothes hamper. So that way you're not having to kind of go through your clothes trying to find if anything has stains. Everything's already pre-treated and ready to go. So I definitely get a break when both washer and dryer are going at the same time. So right now I'm going to have my coffee and watch some YouTube. Now that our colors are all finished drying, I'm going to go ahead and fold these and put them away before our washing machine is finished. Trust yourself and you get hurt Tell yourself it's so absurd For letter words For letter words I hate it when you're like this You never get excited Did you get struck by lightning? Like I said earlier, I did the baking soda and essential oil hack on my mattress protector. It was a little difficult at first because it kept moving around, but I just had to tug on it a little bit and it worked out fine. Yeah. 
The towels are done, so I'm gonna throw those in the dryer. I always dry my towels, washcloths, hand cloths, cleaning cloths, and bathroom rugs. I also love my towels to smell really good, so I'm gonna use my dryer balls and drop my essential oils and throw those in. I'm throwing my sheets in for the last load of the day and instead of my regular Tide Pods, I'm going to be using my Tide Free and Clear Pods, some baking soda, some scent beads, and instead of vinegar, I'm going to use my Lysol sanitizer. I love when both washer and dryer are going at the same time and still have a lot of time left. I have time to relax, but this time I'm gonna show you guys a really cool Febreze DIY that's super easy. All you need is a scoop of scent beads, you need some boiling water and some rubbing alcohol. You combine it all together, give it a good shake, and you have your own Febreze spray that smells so good. Check the description box for the exact measurements of everything. And our insecurities better to cry and set us free. Yeah. Oh no. We're running out of space between good and bad. Running out of words to apologize. Nothing left to say between you and I. You and I. And I. Now that we're done with all of our loads for the day, we're going to do a quick clean on both the washer and the dryer. To avoid any kind of buildup on your little lint catcher or your lint filter thing that goes in your dryer, I like to give it a good scrub from time to time. I don't do it all the time, but when I have time, I will definitely put it in some hot soapy water and scrub it really good because sometimes lint will stick to it and it's hard to get it off without some soapy water and a good scrub. And this part only takes just a couple of minutes. <music> As far as the inside of your dryer, all you need is some vinegar and water, 50-50 mix, and spray it down, wipe it down really good, and that's it. But I actually didn't have an extra bottle because I made my Febreze mix earlier. Um, so I'm just gonna use my Windex with vinegar. That's my other go-to that I love to use. I'm just gonna make sure I wipe it down really good. In 
case you're wondering what happened with all the bedding I decided to put that on off camera but other than that that is it for today's video I hope you all enjoyed don't forget to subscribe leave me a thumbs up and I'll see you guys on the next one so we're back from vacation and I'm doing a daily cleaning routine and this is a super simple one since I did do a lot of cleaning before we left on vacation so I'm just getting some laundry done and a little bit of unpacking I have a really good salmon recipe to share with you guys now that we've been back from our vacation for a few days now I'm gonna get started on some laundry and some catching up because I literally didn't do much when we got back everything is pretty much self-explanatory so I'm not gonna do too much talking let's get started Everybody's been saying that you're up to no good Everyone has been telling me that you got me hood You're playing it big time, you're feeding me lies Everyone has been bugging me to sever the ties But I would never, ever, ever would have believed them, no reason Sometimes the truth is hard to see but now the never, ever, ever seem to be over, I saw her. So I'm happy I got freed Lucky, lucky, lucky me, uh -oh -oh. Lucky, lucky, lucky me, I won, got it done Lucky, lucky, lucky me, uh -oh. Lucky, lucky, lucky It's hard to see But now the never, ever, ever Seem to be over I saw her So I'm happy I got
got freed Lucky, lucky, lucky me my laundry room organization I will have that link down below in case you guys haven't seen it but so far so good I am still loving it everything is still really really organized and clean and just super simple which that's what I love so if you guys want to check it out go ahead and click that link down below so the boys take swimming lessons three times a week and this was the last swim class of the week so I'm gonna throw all of their stuff into the washing machine so when next week rolls around it'll be all clean and ready to go on to the easiest recipe ever so we're gonna be making salmon rice bowls and here's most of the ingredients that we're gonna be using we're gonna start by cubing all of your salmon I am first taking the skin or the scales off of the salmon and then after we cube it we're gonna season it really good Throw some sesame oil, a little bit of olive oil in the pan and cook it until it's finished. So I added my cleaned rice and we're gonna let that cook and then while everything is simmering I'm gonna start chopping my veggies. I've got some bok choy You can choose whatever you want and I got some carrots some cucumbers and I am gonna use some mushrooms Here's the salmon Next I'm gonna make my dipping sauce or a sauce you can pour over your bowl just use some soy sauce sesame oil rice vinegar, a little bit of brown sugar, and some sesame seeds and cilantro if you wanted to. Mix it up really well and that's finished. I added in my bok choy just for a couple of minutes until it's soft and everything is done and then you're gonna start to build your bowl. said you can add in whatever vegetables you want this is more of like an Asian style added in some jalapeno and seaweed and then we have my soy sauce mixture and that's it for today's video I hope you I'm back with another Sunday reset and if you guys aren't familiar with my Sunday resets it's just some things I like to do to prep for the upcoming week not all of my resets are the same it just depends on what's going on that week well, this grocery haul that I'm unpacking is mainly for the kids. The end of the school year is pretty much upon us and I got a lot of little treats and things that I don't buy often for them. On top of that my husband's gone for the week so I'm not going to be doing a bunch of like big meals so we're going to be doing a lot of little quick easy meals throughout this week. So I'm going to unpack all of this and I'll give you guys a little haul. We 
have some chicken and ground beef sausage string cheese these little uncrustables they love these things oatmeal easy mac Honey Bunches of Oats, this is like their favorite cereal. Hamburger Helper, I figured I can make this and then uh, pack it in their lunch for like one or two days. Sausage, and I always get a bunch of steamed vegetables, so got a bunch of those, more garlic, pizza rolls. Um, my kids love this type of pizza. I haven't bought this in a while, so I picked up a couple of those. Turkey sausage, these things are so good like creamy potatoes in it and cheese, so good. Cheese sticks, Uncrustables. This is something I never, never buy because I just make it myself. It's just a fun little change for Brayden who loves peanut butter and jelly. Strawberries, corn, more fresh produce right here. This salsa actually came free, which is so random, but this came free if you ordered like two coffees. Ramen, more ramen. English muffins, butter. The reason I got these tortillas is because they came free with something. It was another something random. We do buy tortillas. We always just buy the freshly made ones that our grocery store makes. Greek yogurt. This is something that I have never bought. I love these, but I don't think I've ever bought these for the kids. So I'm gonna put this in their lunchbox for a little surprise. I love this creamer. I tried a lot of oat milk creamers and they taste more watered down. This one is like really, really creamy. It's so good. Watermelon, some more Dawn dish soap, individual packs of Oreos. And this is another thing that came free with the bag of apples. So I got the caramel dip for the kids to try for the first time. I don't think they've ever tried dipping their apples in caramel. So all for the groceries. I'm gonna go ahead and put this stuff away.
since we have less than a month until the movers get here, we really have to think about what we're buying from the grocery store because obviously the movers cannot pack anything that can go bad, any perishables. So we don't want to have to waste a lot of stuff. So we really are trying to think about everything that we buy from here on out. You guys notice that box by the fridge that's just something that we got from crate and barrel we decided to keep it in the box so when the movers come they can just put it onto the truck instead of having to rebox it it's just a little bit safer that way you guys will see it when we get to the new house This is my favorite glass cleaner of all time. I've tried so many of them and this works the best. upstairs to the boys bathroom and just give it a quick little cleanup I have to wash all the towels and the rugs I'm just gonna wipe down the countertops and do the mirrors I like to do this on Sundays or just at least once a week but I do kind of spot clean here and there throughout the week if I need to I find that when I clean their bathroom at least once a week it's so much faster and easier to clean up because it's not as nasty I'd rather clean it one or two times a week rather than just like kind of let the nastiness build up because I have two boys and and that toilet, that sink, the floors, everything just gross. So doing it once a week really does help.
One thing I never remember to do is clean our trash can out. As you can see, it's been a while, so I'm gonna take the liner out and spray the actual trash can with my vinegar and water mix. I'm also gonna spray the liner down and wipe it down really good. The vinegar mix really does help deodorize any scent, so if you haven't cleaned with vinegar mix, it really does a great job. Tried so hard to let go Writing poetry and rhymes Just to get you off my mind It's either yes or it's no I'm not a yo-yo on a string That's Now I'm breaking out my power paste by Scrub Daddy. It comes with a sponge and this clay-based cleaner. You wet the sponge and then just kind of move it around in the cleaner. You can use it on almost anything, your grill, to your pots and pans, silverware, things like that. So if you haven't tried this out, I highly recommend it. One thing I definitely try to remember to do on Sundays is to sanitize all handles, buttons, knobs, things that get touched often. I try to remember to go over it with a Clorox wipe or a Lysol spray. Finally got my friends in the back of my roller We gon' make it big one day We gon' make it big, I say We gon' make it big, just stay in the Stay in the moon Stay in the moon with me Give you a moment Give you a moment with me Spend all the roses Spend all the roses with me Way too many heartbreaks still on your mind Let the flame burn down for a while Let the flame burn out for a while that's it for today's Sunday Reset. Comment down below the things that you like to do on Sundays, just some things you like to do to prep for the upcoming week. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed today's video, and I will see you guys on the next one. Today I'm gonna to be bringing in a little bit of spring into the home and we're also gonna be preparing our house for potential buyers. You guys know we're gonna be moving this summer so we're getting ready for that. So let's get started. This video won't be your normal cleaning video. I'm gonna do a lot of stuff off camera. It's mainly just to show you guys a little bit of the spring things that I'm gonna be bringing into the house and getting our house prepared and decluttered for potential buyers that will be coming and touring our house soon. So I'm gonna be doing that. So as you can see, I am getting all the kids' toys out of the bathroom. I'm gonna find a home for that. I am gonna clean the entire bathroom because the master bathroom is one of the most important rooms for you know buyers that are coming into the house so i'm gonna make sure everything is squeaky clean and you guys have seen me clean this bathroom a million times so i'm gonna do this one off camera this time and i'll show you the after I'm 
I'm gonna remove our towel that we have hanging up here with a hook um, on our shower glass door just because it kind of clutters up that look and you want a clear view into the shower so I'm gonna take that off and hang the towel on the actual towel bar above the tub. So you want to try to clear out as many personal products, items, decor as possible, especially in rooms like the bathroom, just so that potential buyers can visualize themselves in these rooms. So I went ahead and took all the decor off of the countertops. I still need to take all of our products out of the shower just so that they can see the real size of the shower and not be distracted by so many products. I really needed to declutter a lot of stuff in my closet. So I have four trash bags full of clothes, shoes, handbags that I'm gonna be donating. And we have some bedding from the kids that we no longer need, as well as some other random little items from the house. So we're gonna take a quick trip down to drop this off and we'll be right back. Another place you guys have seen me clean a million times, the kitchen. But if you're selling your house, you know the kitchen is the most important room or area in the house. So I'm going to get this cleared off because we do have people coming in a couple of hours to come tour our house. So I want to make sure everything is clean and put away. I'm just refilling my soap right here though, but I'm going to put everything away, make sure my countertops are as clear as possible, and then I will show you the after. But you don't want to talk, you don't want to bother yeah, yeah. So I took another shot, let my brain do the walking I don't want to be a friend, I want something real Maybe if I stay the night, you could feel the same And maybe if you treat me right, we could rearrange But I'm not even going to try, if you don't want to stay So how's it going to be, you got me on my knees I don't need no roses on my bed I could pull you closer to me, babe Ain't nobody touch me like you can I just need some closure, a little closure I don't need no roses on my bed If I could pull you closer to me, babe Ain't nobody touch me like you can I just need some closure, a little closure I just need some closure This is the first room you see when you walk through the front door so we need to make this room as clear as possible without ruining all of my husband's paperwork or losing anything he works in here every day all day long so we're gonna try to make it as neat looking as possible just for the showing All right, so we're gonna move outside for a little bit. Brandon and Braden are actually out here laying down some brand new stones that we got from Home Depot. We also picked up some flowers and bushes to put out here. We are gonna keep it super simple. Curb appeal is super important when you wanna sell your house. Um, but also we don't wanna go overboard because we are leaving in 
just a couple of months. So we picked up these flowers and we pretty much just laid them out trying to figure out where we want to plant them. So this is pretty much the layout. We got all new dirt up here as well, but we also get a lot of leaves from uh, our huge tree that's in our yard. Now I'm by the front door and I'm just gonna sweep all the dirt and leaves out. I did buy some new rugs to put out here, so I'll show you guys that later on. Don't answer the phone, spending the days on my own, then repeats this for weeks to come. I don't care what I miss, cause my life Dismissed, I keep searching for my bliss. It took days to finally start writing songs. But now it's begun. I go oh, 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 oh. to the back patio. I love hanging out here in the fall and spring here in Texas. The summer, not so much, but I love it back here. All of the cushion covers have been washed and dried, so I'm gonna take those out the dryer and put those on so we can start to tidy up back here. Last but not least, I picked up this reversible rug and the reason I got this is actually for this side. I love this pattern. So I'm gonna use this as my base rug and then I picked up a different one to put over top. Also from Target, it just says our nest and I just love the look of a fresh, clean outdoor rug. So I'm gonna put that over top and that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you.